All right, so I'm all set up here. Here's the nursery that I'm taking it from, and here's the pot that I'm putting it in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take out the plants that have already been in the nursery and they're ready to go, okay? Set them there. I'm not breaking the dirt away from their uh, roots. Don't do that. Let it sit. That way you're not gonna shock the plant too much, okay? Then I'm going to take this dirt that I have in here and I'm gonna put it in the new planter. Why am I doing that? Well, it might have the exact pH that these plants need. It might be exactly what they're looking for. So again, as to not shock the plant too much, I'm gonna go ahead and use the soil that I've already had. So I'm only putting one of these in here and I'm going to go ahead, make a nice hole the size of the root ball. Again, don't knock the dirt off of the roots as much as possible, see that? If it's hanging on, leave it. And then I go ahead and I am packing it down all the way around. Now you'll notice this one is bent over a little bit. So I might take a popsicle stick or a toothpick or something and have it stand up or I might just let it be. So this will grow that way, these guys will come out. I think I'll just let it be, okay? And this guy's ready to go. So here he is in his new planter. I'll put a little bit more soil in there to cover it all up nicely. Stole some soil from the other plant because it's got a little extra in there. Okay, it is okay. You'll notice down in here, I covered one of these. So either that one will grow stronger and pop out or that one will get too thin and it'll actually just fall off and the plant will be able to put more energy into growing the good parts than into that one. So you see, it's just poking out a little bit. So it's up to this little branch right here to decide what it wants to do. Okay, so I still have the other ones and you can go ahead and you can double plant. Now you're gonna notice like on this one over here, Okay, I went ahead and put several different plants together. So I'm going to add one of my baby cactuses to this. So I'm gonna move my new planter over here, move the babies that I'm transplanting, and I'm gonna make some room in this planter for one of these cactus. Some plants love to be crowded some don't mind it and some would rather you not. These are the ones that just do not mind it at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this wonderful little Christmas cactus right to here to add another characteristic to this planter. And I'm gonna take some of the soil that I have over here, pack it in nicely and there we go, it's looking good. This planter itself actually has a lot of water in it because there's not drainage in the bottom. I do have drainage rocks, but there's not a hole in the bottom. So this one I do not have to uh, water as often. Keep that in mind when you're joining plants together or when you're mixing up a garden, make sure they're compatible with each other. So this one's safe and sound, happy, I'm gonna put them right back on the windowsill and I'm gonna grab another one here. Again, this was a baby spider plant that I rescued from my previous job because, um, well, they didn't really understand that you could take the babies and make other plants. So I took that baby out and since he's tucked way over in the side, I'm gonna go ahead and make a spot for this other transplant. Now you can see, look right there, he's rooting again. So you could even pull this little one off and plant him, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna plant them all together. I'm gonna to add back in the dirt that I scooped out to make room for it. I'm gonna put in a little decoration of a rock. And how about a little frog? What do you think? There we go. Wipe it all off make it pretty. 
and put it back on the shelf. The main thing you should do when you're transplanting plants in together is make sure they like similar lighting, they like similar water, all those kind of things. So now, what am I gonna do with these? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is clean up my mess here, put that away, put down another clean towel. Now I need to create a nursery for these because while they are taller plants, they don't, they don't have a root structure yet. You can see a couple of them are starting to think about putting out roots, but you really need to make sure that they have the roots before you stick them in. This one would probably survive, but I wanna give them a little bit longer. So I'm gonna take the planter that I just took the nursery out of and I'm gonna make it a nursery again. You can recycle these from the greenhouse. Okay, so make sure there's a lot of holes in the bottom because what I'm doing now is I'm using that as a way to stand these up in the bottom and make sure they're getting the water they need to sprout the roots that they need so I can transplant them. Pretty much all you're doing is you're just gonna stick the bottom of the root inside this planter in one of the holes and make sure that it's getting the water. Why am I not just sticking it in the water? Because if you just stick it in the water, it has the chance of sliding down into the water and then it'll rot and decay and you will not have your nursery. All right, so now they're all standing up nicely in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water. And then I'm going to gently pour the water in around the plants don't pounce it right on top because then they might fall over and again, then they might rot. So now they're all standing up in there. You can see, make sure you can see that. They're all standing up in there. Make sure that this bowl at the bottom stays full of water at all times while they're in this stage. That's because you want this plant to focus only on getting roots. You don't want it to worry about new growth. You don't want to worry about um, flowering. So if you see any of that starting to happen, you want to go ahead and snip it off. So if this were to start to grow a new branch right here, I would snip that off so it focuses on the roots. So there you go. There is your way to take one beautiful plant and turn it into many, many others that you and others can enjoy for years to come. There you go. Thank you so much for tagging along. Happy planting, happy gardening, and remember, be happy, be kind, and always be creative. Thanks for watching.